Hello and welcome. My name is Leslie Stearns. I'm a talent development facilitator with Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area. This webinar is entitled How to Create an Effective Resumes and Cover Letters. The objectives of this presentation are to determine how to write and customize a resume that reinforces your qualifications. We're going to learn how to format resumes for employers who use an applicant tracking system. We'll also find out how to write effective cover letters. And we're going to learn how to use the workintexas.com as a tool for building resumes and cover letters. We'll also be able to learn how to add value to your reference list in this presentation. So what is the purpose of a resume? to get an interview. Your personal advertisement that lets employers know who you are and are qualified for the job you want. Your resume effectively markets your skills, knowledge, and accomplishments. So how are resumes different today? Well, they're customized. They're no longer just one generic resume that we send out for every application that we, that we make. They must be tailored to a specific job and that employer's needs. You should use result-based statements versus a list of duties. They are seen as your personal marketing tool and they're electronically submitted versus in person or mail these days. Resume should also be able to pass the applicant tracking system. Your resume needs to stand out. The average initial screening time for a candidate's resume clocks in at just 7.4 seconds. So to get through that seven second screening, here's how to make a good impression and stand out to recruiters and hiring managers. Choose a simple layout. Make sure you have clearly marked sections and titled headers and bold job titles. Provide a detailed overview. Example, qualification summary or overview. You want to avoid crammed sentences and multiple columns and make sure there is plenty of white space. Keep it short, even if you have years of experience, try not to exceed two pages. So preparing your resume. Write your, uh, determine your focus. Don't write your resume until you know the type of job you're seeking. Employers rarely have the time to determine whether you'll fit in, so don't be tempted to submit a general resume with a broad overview of your employment and back, uh, educational background. You want to determine what to highlight and what to leave out. Consider what the employer will want to know about your qualifications. You'll want to research to find out more about the position to help you write your resume. You'll also want to determine appropriate format for your resume and choose one or two pages. It's important to research the company and the position. Find out as much as you can about the job you're seeking. In addition to gleaning as much as you can from the job description, can you track down other requirements? These insights will help you customize your resume. Sources of information could be the company website. Businesses may provide a wealth of information on their website, including detailed job descriptions, company history, and recent news articles that might help you. Then you have internet search engines. Use Google or other search engines to track down articles and information about companies and industries. Glassdoor.com provides information regarding employee satisfaction and possible interview questions and salary ranges for the company. LinkedIn company information can be found by using that website and other networking sources. Look for marketing brochures and other material that are insightful to a company's new product or services and their public image. You might find annual report, reports for public companies who provide information and about financial performance. Take advantage of social networking 
website, LinkedIn, to connect with people who may already uh, be there in your contacts to assist you. LinkedIn has company profiles where you can view articles and content of the company, as well as uh, get an idea about their cultural uh, culture that the company has. You'll want to determine the appropriate resume format. There's several to choose from. There's a chronological format. This is mostly used when applying for similar work to your last job. It's best for internet job boards, and it's effective for job seekers with consistent work experience. And then you have the combination format. This is used by career changers and military veterans who are transitioning into civilian jobs. It highlights your skills and qualifications, and it may help downplay any recent work history. And here's another example, example, functional. This could be used by students or those with long gaps in work history. It highlights your transferable skills from education, volunteer, or personal experiences. Resume length. Most resumes are one to two pages. You'll want to include years of work history based on the job you're applying for. A two-page resume may be better for people who need to have plenty of keywords for that higher ATS, Automated Tracking System, score and have more work history. Try not to squeeze all the information just to get it onto one page. Higher level, executive, academic, and people preparing for federal resumes will possibly be more than one to two pages. Remember, there's no resume that's too much, too little. You just want to find the right one that gets you contacted for a job interview. So what are applicant tracking systems? Well, it's software that's used by midsize and larger companies to scan for keywords and formatting in an applicant's resume. When you are applying online and redirected to another website, that company may be using an ATS. 90% of Fortune 500 companies rely on ATSs to help them screen out applicants. Companies with fewer than 50 employees are less likely to use one. An example, when applying with Starbucks, they use Talio. It's one of the most popular ATS and job applicants are redirected to a different website when completing their online application. So here's some recommendations when dealing with ATS. Follow the instructions. Read carefully through the application process on the website and be sure to save your resume as a doc file or PDF or what is required to upload the document to the website. Try using a single column format on your resume and be sure to spell out any acronyms. Select a sans serif font such as Arial, Calibri, Tahoma, or Verdana font. You'll want to avoid lines, graphics, borders, shading, tables, headers or footers. All of these can choke the ATS. Avoid any fancy bullets or inserted page numbers as well. Use exact wording from the job description, but don't overuse. An example, if a job description states, oversaw, recruiting, selecting, orienting, training, scheduling, and disciplining employees, the wording on your resume might sound like, oversaw recruiting, selecting, training, and disciplining in employees. This will help increase your ATS score to be chosen. You have tools available to help you compare keywords. Workintexas.com compares your resume to the employer requirements. Every job match that you seek and pull up or every job match you receive on your profile automatically gives you a score and allows you to click on that score if you need to increase keywords to uh, get a higher score for the employer to choose you as an applicant. 
It offers keywords that are related to the occupational codes to increase your ATS score. And there's no additional cost for using the tool. You also can use online websites, but look for free ones. You can scan your resume and the job posting at jobscan.co. It compares your keywords against the job description. It too offers suggestions on what to add for the ATS, but there is a, a limited number of scans per month before paying a fee. I believe it's five free scans a month. So comparing the job description with your resume, print out that job description and highlight keywords that the employer may need to see on your resume to determine your qualifications. Use the same job title in the qualifications headline section of your resume. For instance, if you're applying for an administrative assistant, you might put administrative assistant qualifications and then list your key words and skills. Note the keywords in the resume that match up with a job description and make sure to add relevant skills directly from the job posting in your resume and qualifications section. The resume sections that are usually included are standard sections, such as heading, your name, contact information, your qualification summary or professional summary, a section of your key skills, listing your work experience, having a section of accomplishments and achievements, and your education. In the heading, did you know an unprofessional email address is a major problem for 35% of employers? First impressions do matter. It is recommended in your heading to include your city, state, and zip code, but is not necessary. Make sure your contact information is up to date. Also, make sure your email and voicemail are message is set up and professional. Make sure your voicemail isn't full so that you don't miss an opportunity for an interview. If you're going to include a LinkedIn URL, it should be up to date and reflect recent work activity. An example of a heading is listing your name first and last, your LinkedIn address, phone number, email, city, state, and zip. Customize, customizing resumes with a qualification summary. This section reveals at a glance that you have the key qualifications for the job. Determine what to highlight based on the information from the job description and other research that you've completed. You'll want to list years of related work experience, an example of a key skill that you have that is also on the job requirement, and list the most important information on the top half of the first page of your resume. You'll want to include your computer skills, list your software, hardware, and technical skills that match the job. You'll want to also include accomplishments and personal contributions if they're applicable to the job you're applying to. And use keywords to reinforce specific skills, experience, and education. Qualification summary example. This is for a project manager qualifications. Healthcare, PMPRN, with 10 plus years experience managing multiple projects simultaneously in a high volume hospital. Experienced in developing and practicing and performance improvement reports on a quarterly and monthly basis for multiple hospital departments slash cost 32% in six months through a hospital-wide initiative project that cuts, cuts stock room waste. Highly proficient public speaking skills that included an appearance in the 2019 Change Management Conference in Idaho, California. Your work experience and relevant key skills. Begin statements with action verbs. Provide impactful descriptive statements. Be careful about using jargon, jargon or acronyms. Add achievements and awards. 
list your employment history in reverse chronological order for the past 10 to 15 years. Most individuals will go back 10 years with their work experience. List the company and the name that it was known for when you were working there. Be sure to include the city and state where you were based and list employment history in reverse chronological order for the past 10 to 15 years. Use month and year that you started and ended the job. You can also just use years to help downplay small gaps in work history. Here's a work history example. This individual has listed their title first, digital marketing manager, and then the company name. They also have the month and year listed when they started and ended that employment. They have a couple of bulleted points talking about their uh, key skills and experience while working there. They've listed, created a new format for reporting and presenting the sales customer engagement and Google AdWords reports that shortened the meeting by 30%. Updated and monitored the bid strategy in Google Ad Awards campaigns and increased the CTR, click-through rate, by 4% within the first month. Redesigned and researched keywords for updating the project pages by updating the online shop, which increased, increased the keywords in the top 100 by 565 and the top 10 by 24. Located and proposed new potential business deals using B2B by contacting potential partners. A quick tip. It is effective to add job title first if your previous roles are the same title as the jobs you're applying for. Oftentimes, this keeps the hiring manager engaged as they're moving through that five to six second resume scan. Accomplishments and results. Make sure to add accomplishments and results. Ask yourself the following questions when you're writing impactful statements to enhance your resume. Did you advance and assume additional responsibilities? Did you help your company save or make money? Did you help increase sales? Did you train anyone or develop training materials? Did you introduce a new or more effective technique that improved processes? Did you launch a new program or product? Did you generate new business, add new clients, and forge affiliations with new organizations? By asking yourself these types of questions, this will help you write a very impactful uh, skill set for each work history that you add to your resume. Awards and recognition. If you have three or more special awards and recognitions, consider setting up a separate section to draw more attention to these honors if you feel they're relevant to the job search. Place this section under the qualification summary rather than burying it at the end, maybe after unemployment. For example, this individual is a recipient of the 2018 Project Management Institute, Institute Award for Project Management Excellence. Your education and training. Be sure to highlight relevant education and training on your resume. Recent graduates could add a high grade point average and relevant courses and extracurricular activities. Omit dates that are more than 20 years old and be sure to include your high school or GED if that is your highest level of education. Some exa examples of education and training. This individual has a Bachelor of Business Administration to the University of North Texas in Denton. Another example of a training, Project Management Professional Preparation Course through Rebus Business Solutions in Houston, Texas. Then we have Project Management Process Groups Certificate Courses 2018 through ResCare Academy. Someone has listed their university, Concordia University, Austin, Texas, completed 32 credits and 16 credits in administration. Listing your high school, Austin, High School, Austin, Texas, Diploma, and the Graduation Date. 
general education diploma certificate, certification in grant writing 2018. Additional information. Did you know, according to a survey conducted on LinkedIn, 41% of employers do find volunteer work as valuable as paid work. So consider adding a separate section for the following in order to enhance your resume. You might include volunteer activities, any professional associations or other organizations you might have been a member of. But a quick tip, Make sure to include activities that enhance your resume and don't detract. Be careful about mentioning organizations that are politically or religiously affiliated to avoid bias on the part of the employer. And only add the information if it's irrelevant to the job you're seeking. Writing impactful statements. Today's resumes need to have impactful statements with action verbs, rather than a vague list of your previous job duties. So here's some examples. Someone wrote an example, responsible for floor displays. A better way to say that might be, set up store floor displays according to visual marketing standards on a monthly basis within a 12 hour time limit. Someone has written a statement, increase sales in my department. Another way to write that to get, uh, to get noticed might be increase sales with the technology department by 25% in quarter two and quarter four of 2019, resulting in an increased profit margin for the company. Yourworkintexas.com has a resume builder built right onto it. You have the ability to store multiple copies, up to five resumes. You have the option of either uploading a document or creating the resume using the system generated template. You'll have access to occupational descriptions that'll help you, help you write your resume. And it's easy to download the completed resume in different formats, whether it be Word or PDF. And there's always no cost to a registered job seeker to use Work in Texas. So here's 10 key points to remember. Focus on a specific occupation. Customize your resume for each employer. Select a resume format that's easy to read. Write clear, concise statements. Include a qualification summary with key words from the job description. Limit your resume to one or two pages. Begin statements with action verbs. Add details where appropriate about accomplishments. List the most important information first on the resume and proofread your resume. Cover letters. Whenever possible, submit a cover letter. Always accentuate the positive in your writing. Build a connection with the employer through your writing. It's a great way to let employer know that you're the ideal cultural fit for the job. Some employers will be swayed by cover letters and others may not bother to read it. So how to write an incredible cover letter? First step, research that company. Understand what they're looking for and have impactful statements. Use a standard business letter format with one inch margins and use at least four to five paragraphs. Be sure to address your letter to a specific person if at all possible. And open with a catching statement. You want to create engagement and reinforce your top skills and qualifications. Be sure to include a call to action and always end with warm regards or sincerely. And always proofread your cover letter as well. Salary requests. Some employers may ask job applicants for their salary requirements or salary history. Respond to this request in a cover letter and determine what is your best interest to reveal or avoid being disqualified. Here are two options. You could state, my salary is negotiable. I would like to discuss compensation when I learn more about the job requirements and employee benefits. 
If an employer indicates that you must include salary requirements to be considered, you could refer to your research and state, my salary is negotiable. I would like to discuss the average pay that is listed on Indeed.com for said job title in the Austin region, which ranges from 32,000 to 38,000. Remember, your WorkInTexas.com profile allows you to access labor market information for specific occupations and location by city or county, giving you a fair market value for you to be able to speak to your salary when it comes to negotiation time. How to write a cover letter in 2020. YouTube has many different and other platforms have many different uh, webinars and uh, videos that you can watch to help you with cover letter tips, interviewing techniques. Through your work in Texas, you have uh, metrics learning that allows you to uh, access different tools. Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area staff can all use, also sign you up for the Academy. The Academy will allow you to access LinkedIn Learning, which has wonderful videos to help you with your job search efforts. Be sure to look for free services when you're searching YouTube or other platforms. Emailed cover letter guidelines. In the subject line, specify the job you want. Use two or three paragraphs, about 150 words, and have blank lines between the paragraphs. Use standard salutation and closing like dear or Mr., Ms., and sincerely. WorkInTexas.com also has a cover letter tool built right in. You can store multiple copies of cover letters and can insert your own text or use a system template. You're able to insert action words as well into your text. It's also easy to convert to PDF, Word, or other documents uh, platform. There's no cost to job seekers. And it's easy to find. From your resume builder page, you go down to the bottom and select cover letter. Once you choose cover letter, you'll click on create new letter. From here, you can begin drafting your letter. At the bottom, there's a hyperlink, insert system template or insert action words. It's a very helpful tool that can uh, help you write your cover letter and your resume. Cover letter checklist. See how your cover letter stacks up by reviewing the checklist. Update all information and follow current trends in writing and formatting documents. Keep your cover letter focused and easy to understand and be sure to carefully proofread. If you're sending a, a cover letter via email or even your resume, send it to yourself so that when you open up the document, you can see how the uh, reader will be able to see the text that you've inserted. Your reference list. Prepare at least four references, sometimes five, of individuals who are familiar with your work and can vouch for your character. Most employers won't need references until after the job interview, but sometimes on an application on a website, you may have to enter those individuals in. So an example of what to include, be sure to list the person's name, their job title, the company where they work or where you knew, knew them or where you work together, the address of that company, state, city and state and zip, a contact or work phone number, and maybe with the hours of when to reach the individual, and maybe a short or brief description of how they knew you. For instance, this individual was familiar with my training ability and good work habits. This concludes the presentation. I hope you found some insightful in, uh, information on how to write uh, effective cover letters and resumes. And please always reach out to a staff member at Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area if you need assistance with a resume review, a uh, scheduling a mock virtual interview, and 
Also, please do visit our website at www.workforcesolutionsrca to see all of our services that are provided to you, as well as webinars and our Workforce Wednesdays. We host a virtual job fair every Wednesdays for employers and job seekers and other insightful webinars that you can either view or sign up for work, uh, workshops in the future. Again, thank you for joining me.